Good morning all. Welcome to the refresher course in applicable mathematics. So in a sequence of pre-recorded lectures, I am going to discuss and demonstrate fundamentals and basics of MATLAB. So first we will start with the environmental setup of this MATLAB. So basically MATLAB is not an open source software. It is a proprietary software. It was managed and maintained by this MathWorks. You can download this MATLAB software. You can install it in your local computer. Then you can run commands, you can run scripts. And then alternative way is you can run this MATLAB on your browser also. So it, it supports both the ways, offline mode and online mode also, right? But in order to use the full functionality of MATLAB, you should have a license, MATLAB license. So the license can be personal license or your institute license. So in our case, I am using an institute license. NIT Warangal has already taken some number of licenses from MATLAB, right? So therefore, I can link the license to my mail ID and I can use that license. In case, if you do not have any license, either personal license or institute license, then you can open an account a trial trial account and you can use this MATLAB for one month. So MATLAB gives this facility of using the software for one month. This is called trial version, trial account. Right? Now let me show you how to download the, the MATLAB installer and how to install the software on your machine. So you can do that using this one in dot open this link in dot mathworks.com right slash downloads slash web underscore web underscore downloads web underscore downloads you can click here this is if you want to install the software on your machine so here you see on the left hand side different releases of MATLAB was available here. By default, the latest release was selected. R means release 2021 B. Right now, you can select the, you can download the software for different operating systems. By default, Windows software for Windows was selected. You can select software for Mac, you can select software for Linux also. Now, you can select software for windows you can click here you can download right it is some 190 mb installer once you download it in your download folder you will get a installer like this now if you want to execute this if you want to install this inst software double click on this matlab installer right it will unzip the content it will unzip the content and it will open the installer. See, this will open the installer, MathWorks product installer. S, click on S. Now, here you will be asked to enter your account details. Account details means suppose you, are, suppose you have a personal license. In order to use a personal license or institute license, first of all, you should create an account, right? So this account, I already have an account, BSP Rao. This is my institute account, institute mail ID, right? Let me, I have entered my username and password. I'm trying to run the software. I'm trying to install the software. Now it will ask, a select a license or activation key. Our institute has already taken some license. Therefore, 
I will use that license, academic license, MATLAB individual. This is NITW license, right? I already linked. This came because, okay, now the question is, how will you get this license? In my case, it came, but in your case, it will not come. In your case, I will tell you why it came in my case. After some time, I will tell you. So if you already have activation key, that is also okay. You can enter an activation key. But in my case, I have linked a license and I am clicking on next. You can give some name. This is just a username, right? It will be installed on this folder. You can change it also. If you want, you can change. I'm clicking on next. If you click on next, then it will show you the list of toolboxes that are available in MATLAB. Now you can select some toolboxes, whatever toolboxes you like, you can select, you can install. Otherwise, if you want to select all, you can select all the toolboxes. Now, MATLAB has toolboxes for everything. MATLAB has toolboxes for optimization, machine learning, deep learning, signal processing, 5G communication, communication, bioinformatics, wireless networks, everything. You see aerospace, antennas, all these things. Partial differentiations, global optimization, right? There are many toolboxes, parallel computing, partial differential equation. So you can select the toolboxes, you can click on next. You can add a shortcut to desktop also. Now it will tell you, you have selected 105 toolboxes. It requires 30.88 GB on your C drive. If you want to go ahead, you can click on this begin install and you can install the software on your local machine. Simply click on begin install, this, uh, the installation will go on. It, it will take some 15 to 20 minutes for installation, then that's all you will have the software installed on your local computer, right? What I wanted to show you is, I want to show you how to use this MATLAB on browser. So let me show you how to use MATLAB on browser. So open matlab.mathworks.com, matlab.mathworks.com. So I was already logged in, that's why it was coming like this. So what I do is, let me log out. Let me sign out and let me show you. When you click on this matlab.matworks.com, right, you will get a screen like this. Welcome to MATLAB, sign in. I already have account, that's why I am clicking on sign in. But you do not have account, click on this create one. Create one, you create a MathWorks account, give email address, location, your designation, student, teacher, engineer, right and then click on create it will ask you to enter some personal details enter the personal details a mail will come to your uh, mail id you verify your email id by clicking on the link that's all so once you create an account you can log in you can log into the mat box using your account right let me log in let me show you the login procedure because uh, you can create an account on your own, I hope. Right. Now, so it will be like this. When you enter into your account, it will show you like this. Now, if you want to open the MATLAB, if you want to run the MATLAB on your browser, click, simply click on Open MATLAB Online. Open MATLAB. Online. In my case, it will open like this. But if you create an account for the first time, you do not have a license, then you see there are two options here. Link. So I have already linked a license, that's why it was asking me to link an additional license. But in your case, you will get two options. Link, in a, link a license, get a trial. So if your institute has a license, you can link a license. If you do not have any license, then you can get a trial. So click on get trial. So you will get MATLAB access for 
one month by clicking on this get a trial is it okay in my case i have already linked a license so that's why i will directly go to matlab r9 matlab r9 so already i open let me open again yeah, matlab r9 now this is called live editor because it was running on browser i have not installed on my local computer i am running it on my browser that's why it is called live editor now if you see this matlab environment this is the environment of matlab you can see three things basic things current folder workspace command window so current folder is used to manage the files suppose you have installed the software on your system then you want to open some file go to the folder and you can open directly so this is just like uh, your uh, windows computer you manage files right that way so this is the folder current folder then the next one is command window so this command window here you can run the command you can enter a command you can execute the command straight away that means suppose if you run if you want to run some command 5 plus 5 you enter it straight away run the command that's all it will return the result you see answer equals to 10 right let me run one more command x equals to 5 you see it was displaying the answer also x 5 was stored in x earlier 10 was stored in answer so if you give x equals to 5 the value 5 was stored in the variable x so x is a variable 5 is the value but in this case i have given a what i have given an expression 5 plus 5 i have not stored the result anywhere so if you run some expression and if you do not store the answer in any variable by default it will be stored in a variable called answer ans stands for answer that means if i run one more command 5 plus 6 what happens the value in the answer will be replaced with 11 are we clear now one more thing is so in addition to this current folder command window we have one more thing called workspace what is this workspace all the variables that you have created will be stored in this workspace now if you see so far we have created only one variable x you can open the variable we can see the value you see x x name of the variable is x value is 5 size size means it is a, whether it is a scalar or vector or matrix that means if the size is 5 by 1 that means it is a vector if the size is 5 by 5 it is a matrix and so on what is the data type data type is double we will discuss these data types in the next uh, video i hope right and then what is the minimum value since it is a scalar value only one value so the minimum value is 5 so this min so here you see you can click here you can add other things also you can remove some things suppose you don't want min you can remove you see suppose you want to add the max you can add max here so what is this max suppose this is a vector five elements were there what is the minimum maximum value of this vector will be will be displayed here i hope it is clear but i created only one variable it was showing two variables because by default the result of an expression will be stored in a variable answer right that's why we can see two variables here answer and x right you can click on this variable you can see the values of variables here and the other thing is you can adjust the size of this command window right you can adjust the size of this current folder you can adjust the size of workspace you can move up and down left and right and so on right you can adjust all these things you can move these things also if you want to move right here and there if you want to move these things you can move also all these things you can do right now let us fix like this 
so in our uh, next video we will see the other in this video i have demonstrated the environmental setup and uh, the basics of some of the basics of matlab now in our next video we will continue our discussion